Hello, and welcome to Community Hotline at Home. I'm your host, Monica Weitzel. Today, our guest is the mayor of Gresham, Oregon, Shane Bemis. Mayor Bemis has done an extraordinary job keeping the good folks at Gresham up to date on the coronavirus situation and helping to connect them with the services they need. Mayor Bemis, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. Thanks so much. It's great to be here. I really appreciate it. And no problem. You know, as I mentioned, you've stayed in touch with the residents and businesses of Gresham. Uh, and what are some of the new programs that have been initiated solely to help the folks that are being affected by this crisis? Well, I think we've got um, all hands on deck to create our response to the community in terms of, you know, this global pandemic. Um, you know, there's a lot of, obviously a lot of anxiety, a lot of fear, not just around health, but also economic fear as, you know, a third of our country is unemployed at this point, And that obviously has a direct uh, effect in Gresham. We got busy really quick. Um, we did a, um, right away, we did a residential eviction moratorium, uh, as well as a commercial tenant uh, a lease moratorium, meaning that our small businesses would be protected from eviction, our residents would be protected from eviction. Those were two first steps that we did very quickly. We also, under the governor's uh, initial order, restaurants uh, were ordered to be closed. Uh, so specific to that industry, we opened up a grant uh, program that was first come, first serve, uh, based on the amount of employees that a restaurant had, they qualified for a grant up to $10,000. Those checks went out the door Friday, last Friday afternoon. So while Congress was still trying to you know, debate and vote on a, a stimulus package, we had local money going out the door to our entrepreneurs, which affects our families and our community. So I was pretty proud of the organization uh, uh, for doing that. Other things that we've done is we've tried to help our small business community as much as we can. So we have, you know, obviously some pretty smart people at City Hall that have, you know, other jobs that are they're not being used for right now. So we we decided to take a team and make them a small business um, technical team. So they know all of the programs that are available to our small businesses and they uh, understand the application process. They're able to help, you know, business owners that have you know, probably aren't thinking really clearly under a lot of anxiety right now, and they can sit down with them and take them through the bureaucracy that is the application process and get that done and get help, you know, through the federal government. So they're doing that. We also took, you know, a lot of our other employees that, you know, um, their regular work has been interrupted and we, we started a thing called Gresham Connected. So what we did was we took a look at um, an easy way for us to figure out our older um, uh, population in Gresham was to take a look at our utility accounts and based on the amount of time that those accounts have been open. For instance, if somebody had a utility account since 1980, we can probably you know, assume that they're older. So we started pulling old utility accounts and we asked our staff to call those folks uh, one by one and just check in with them. Make sure that they have all of the information that they need, uh, if there's any prescriptions that they need help with, if there's any needs that they have. And we, we um, people, you know, obviously it goes without saying, there's a lot of need right now. There's a lot of people hurting. And so to the extent that our organization can be that calming or that resource or that help, I'm, uh, we're doing that. And I'm, really, I'm really proud of the folks here at the city. And I, and I know that uh, the community is proud of them too, because I'm getting response from the community saying, hey, that was really nice for somebody to check in and give us the right information. So we're proud of the, our community's response. You know, I think that's really great. And I, I'm very impressed actually with the way that, that the city of Gresham has responded so quickly and has really been at the forefront of, of reaching out to not only its residents, but the businesses. You know, the programs that you've rolled out have been um, innovative and have been really ahead of the curve. So having the employees actually making those calls and, and doing something other than their regular job has got to be really a good thing for them as well. Yeah, I think it's I think it's therapeutic for them, right? I mean, it gives them something to do, so they're not idle. Uh, they're helping people, which you know all of our folks want to do. But the reality of this situation is such that you know we have there's a team here at City Hall that's been together for a while, and they've been working really hard to build vibrancy in the community and to build events and to be present and to create community. So when these businesses start, you know, having to be closed and whatever, they're not just obscure names on a piece of paper our staff knows these people they've been working with them they've been giving them small business assistance and so it's it's family to them and you know um, i've been really really proud really proud of our of our organization and proud of our community the, the community is stepping up monica as you know in so many ways uh to help each other and to get everybody through this and um it's just what we've always known about gresham um you know that it's the best place in the world and it's it's sure proven proven that again it's, it's been impressive. You said something about family, so I have one last question. How is your family coping with this? 
<laughs> yeah, thank you. Um, they're they're good. I mean, you know, everybody has a lot of anxiety. Um, you know, uh, my my oldest son is a senior this year at Rasham High, so his whole year is interrupted, and he's a little bit down about that. But um, in some respects, in other respects, not so much, you know, but we're trying to do the best we can. We're painting a lot of rocks for uh, Gresham Rocks. So that seems to be, we find a, a new music genre to put on at night and then we all sit down and, and paint some rocks. So it's come this little competition on who can, who can paint the best, but they're doing good. I appreciate, I appreciate you asking. Thank you. No problem. Well, I, I really appreciate you being on the show today. And um, I think that Gresham should be proud of, of what they're doing and, and, Happy to have you at the, at the helm. My thanks to Mayor Bemis for being my guest today on the show. And on behalf of the entire team here at Metro East, we hope you all stay safe and healthy.